we made. Hello, happy travelers. Welcome to Port Everglades here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We are here for something very special. We are here to board this beauty, the Celebrity Beyond, and we are beyond excited. Now this sailing is special in a few different ways. And one of those reasons is that we are going to be on a special two-night trade event so we can attend the naming ceremony for the Beyond. So thank you so much, Celebrity, for inviting us to this special event. Yes, it is special. It's our revenue sailing. It's a trade event only. So very unique experience, and we're very grateful for it. Very appreciative of the invite. Something else special about this sailing? We have never sailed with Celebrity before. We've been on board one of their ships during a travel agent ship tour for just a few hours, but we've never sailed. So new beginnings, new horizons. So our time on board the Celebrity Beyond begins right now. Right now! We've never been in this terminal in Fort Lauderdale, and look at the fun lights and the grating. I don't, I, I know it's a little hard to see, but it says Celebrity Beyond. Welcome back. Celebrity cruise line. You know what these lights above you make me think of? Lightsabers. Oh, that is a good one. I was thinking um, Grand uh, Hall or, or whatever it's called in Harry Potter with the oh. with the like the candles hanging from the ceiling. Okay, we're not even on the ship yet. Can we take a minute to appreciate this music? Is Celebrity already winning your heart with the music? <laughs> it's pretty good. I have to admit, I'm a teeny bit sad because we're in Fort Lauderdale. We didn't see Arlene when we checked in. Oh, yeah. So, but she's probably over at the Royal Caribbean. Typically. Typically. But, giving you virtual love, Arlene. <laughs> For prosperity, here we go. Three. Prosterity. Prosterity, sorry. Three, two, one. Yay! You're a celebrity. Pocket our keys are in. Sealed envelope, of course. Dum, bu, bu, dum, bum, 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 bum. <gasps> our first celebrity card. Our first X card. Yep. X gonna give it to you. So per the usual, we will have a video dedicated to a full tour of our stateroom here, but just wanted to give you the quick look around. That's a nice bathroom. And the uh, main feature here, the infinite Verandas, as far as I know, started on Celebrity, I, I, I think. I know they're the ones, you know, most famous for it. And now carrying over to our beloved Royal Caribbean when Icon of the Seas debuts January 2024. So does this close, like, all the way? So yeah, so you can close that. Uh-huh. So you see our room just continues on through here. Yeah. So it's basically like a sunroom, right? right? But you can come over here and hit <gasps> that. I guess you gotta hold it. Oh my gosh, it opens! Yeah, the window drops down from the top. And now you're completely open air. Oh my gosh, so you could have like an ocean view or a balcony if yeah, you so it's, chose. So basically you can have a really large ocean view room with uh -huh. like a sunroom, right? Or you can close these off if you want to keep the AC in, open up the window, and look, now you're outside. So this is what they call the infinite veranda. It's not the standard balcony. It's quite a different take on it. That's really cool in terms of like, like say you have bad weather and stuff, but you still want to utilize your balcony space. Yeah. You could close this up and still have this room. That's really neat. I like this a lot. That's pretty cool. I do too. And look, we can see the magic carpet from our window. On a magic carpet ride. Of course, the magic carpet on this class of ship is the one, it's like a bar area, lounge area that goes up and down the side of the ship. So it's up right now, it can go down there, moves to the different levels, similar to the Rising Tides bar on Royal Caribbean Oasis class ships, but uh, much larger and exterior. Outside. Yeah. I want to ride on a magic carpet. That's been my <laughs> dream since I was like six. Okay, celebrity. I, I was expecting you to be a little extra, but I, I wasn't expecting this. Included makeup remover pads, shower caps, lip balm. I'm like totally taking this home with me. Like lip balm, we've never had that in a, in a cruise before. Robes, slippers. That is uh, yoga mats, which we have those because we're in an aqua classroom. It's all based on like fitness and stuff, but like there's yoga mats in here. I was not expecting 
that level of, uh, of uh, additional things in the room. I feel very swanky right now. I don't know why a free lip balm makes me feel swanky, but it sure does. Oh, and this is really cool. So on the TV, they already have it set up and they tell you exactly what you need to do for the muster drill. I like that it's laid out so clearly. I do also like that they put um, a ticker on the TV that lets you know how long you have until you need to complete the muster steps and stuff. So this little booklet was in our room and when I was doing the room tour, I thought it was just information about the ship, but then I noticed it said naming ceremony with today's date. So I opened it up and it's got all this information about the ship. It's the third ship in the Celebrity Edge series and you know, all the sizes and things like that. And then it tells us what's gonna be going on at the naming ceremony, which is coming up in just a few hours. There's gonna be a pipe band and board and committee members and vice presidents and things like that. But then they're gonna have the godmother procession and who is the godmother of this ship? None other then 19 time world champion and seven time Olympic medalist, Simone Biles. Wait, Simone Biles is here? Well, that's what it says. It like says, she's gonna be at the ceremony? According to this, yeah. No way. She's the godmother. No way! Simone Biles might be on the ship right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That is so exciting. I, ah! Now's a good time to mention that you used to do gymnastics when you were younger. That is, part of the reason why I'm excited. But whether you like gymnastics or not, she is one of the greatest athletes in American history. I really hope she's here. <laughs> <laughs> Decided to get some quick eats before the naming ceremony here at the buffet, but it's really nice because they have this very large outdoor seating section with a beautiful view. We got a few different selections, but the main thing that we know that you're here for, how is the pizza? Matt, your resident expert, take it away. It's good. Yep. Yeah, it's not, oh my gosh, amazing. It's not like, man, that's okay. It's good. It's good. It's like a B tier, I'd say. It's okay. Not Virgin Voyages, no. but not low. Something to be noted with celebrity is that they take their attire and dress code seriously. And tonight's is evening chic. Yes, at least for the naming ceremony anyways. I don't know that it's for the whole night. I think it's just for the, the naming ceremony where evening chic, which is intended to be less than formal. So they have it labeled as um, dresses, pants, um, button down shirt, sweater, um, like a dress sweater, um, like closed toe shoes, no flip flops, um, that kind of thing. It might be for dinner as well. It seems like that's how celebrity does stuff. So like whatever the dress is for the night, it's for dinner and like the show. Right. But I don't think it actually is evening chic for dinner tonight. I think it's just for, for our, cause we're on the trade event, just for the naming ceremony. Now the dinners and the other nights are smart casual which is like a polo shirt and pants or like jeans and pants and a nice blouse or whatever. Yeah. That kind of thing. So it's not like Royal Caribbean where it's pretty much you can kind of wear whatever you want as long as it's not a bathing suit. There are there are dress codes in the evening for the restaurants and the theater. So like if, if it is a dress code, like if you're going to a restaurant or a show, you have to adhere to that dress code. It's, yeah, it's not like Royal where it's like you can if you want, but you don't have to. Like, no, you do. You do. <laughs> and that's what evening chic looks like. Wow. I think we look quite, quite chic. For the evening. <laughs>
gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the one and only, the incredible Leona Lewis. <laughs> amazing event. Dear God, full of compassion and grace, from the beginning your spirit hovers over creation, which gave us the waters and answered your call to be who you want us to be. We are meant to be strong, beautiful, creative, and wise. May we use all of your gifts of life to bring love, security, prosperity, and care to the entirety of your beautiful world. Just so you know, the Celebrity Beyond have literally incredible award-winning entertainment that you all are going to get to enjoy this evening, of course, tomorrow. Now, we are very honored to have incredible vocalists, both in Eden cast and in the theater cast. Please, my friends, help me welcome our incredible cast vocalists as they perform the United States National Anthem. What so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming o'er the land of the free, the free, and the home of the Will you please help me in welcoming onto the stage the president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises, Ms. Lisa Luto Colonel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love naming day. It is truly one of my favorite days that have anything to do with ships. And it's really a true pleasure to be with all of you here today, wherever you are on the ship. Morning, Simone to the family, and thank you for joining us to celebrate the naming of this beautiful celebrity beyond. I'll sing it one last time for you Then we really have to go And all I've done I need to I'm so thrilled to be here with you today aboard Celebrity Cruises' most innovative ship yet to officially name her Celebrity Beyond, and she is stunning. <laughs> ...as Beyond's godmother and to join such a distinguished group of strong barrier-breaking women who have been named as Celebrity's godmothers before me. I appreciate the important message this designation holds in recognizing our accomplishments as empowering women, and I am honored to share the stage today with fellow brave, boundary-breaking leaders like Lisa Lutoff Perlo, Captain Kate McHugh, and Leona Lewis. Now I just want to draw your attention to the screens. We're going to see that small champagne bottle that is going to be breaking <laughs> out to the guys. It's, no, by the way, it looks small there, but that bottle is bigger than my house in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> True story. Well, Simone, we are so excited for you to be the godmother of this ship. Um, I'm trying to find the button here, but I don't, there's not a button here on top. Um, but we, we figured with, with 19 gold medals, uh, there's only one appropriate type of button uh, to be able to push. So... <laughs> so I'm going to do it the honor. Yes. I named this ship Celebrity Beyond. 
bless her and all who sail her. Inside of Cyprus, it's an exclusive things for this restaurant, and then we have items that are available in all the restaurants. Got a selection of breads here to go with it. Selection of dipping items. So we have salted butter, hummus, and garlic butter. All right, appetizers are here, and you went with one of the Greek options. The uh, hot melted saganaki, I believe it was. Yeah, and I would be able to pronounce it just like that if you didn't do it for me. I might have gotten it wrong. Who knows? <laughs> We're gonna go with yours. And then uh, I got the yellow corn soup. And then you also ordered another one of the like special Greek appetizers, but you didn't want the tzatziki or the. What was the other thing? Um, tikka masala. Oh yeah. So I so they just gave me three hummuses. <laughs> Wanted the hummus, you got the hummus. Now the main courses, what is this? It's um spinach and goat cheese stuffed mushroom. Oh wow. Yeah. Goat cheese. I love goat cheese. I went with the grilled cobia, which comes with yellow corn mashed potatoes, which will grow nice in that soup I just had, and green beans. Sorry, I know this looks like a total spinach massacre, but I wanna say this is like so delicious. Now, I always kind of worry with something that's like primarily mushroom because I'm worried it's like going to be like too crazy mushroom flavor. This was delicious. The goat cheese was mwah, delicious. And as you can see, Matt's fish is basically gone. So that was good as well. And now a look at the dessert menu of the accompanying beverages. And dessert. Yeah, and it's filled with fruit and cream, and it's so pretty. It's not as much of the presentation, but I think the flavor will be there. Apple crumble a la mode. Well, there we go. That is the end of our meal. It was pretty enjoyable. I honestly, I liked every single thing that I got. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah, I like for. I, I would say that's the equivalent to like a main dining room, and I I think that's way better than like a Royal Caribbean main dining room or something like that. So the way I was gonna summarize it is yes, I would put it above your because obviously experiences may vary. I would put it above your average Royal Caribbean main dining room experience not quite as good as a specialty restaurant, which yeah. feels appropriate because you're not paying additional for this. So, very good though, yeah, very I, good. I, it took a while though. That was like an hour and 45 minutes, which I guess is pretty standard. It's, it seems slow, but 
Uh, yeah, I think it might just be because it was a, it's been a busy day and we're tired. Maybe, Maybe that's why it felt longer, but it was really good. Of course, we started sailing away while we were eating, so we didn't get really film sail away, but there you go. Bye, Fort Lauderdale. Bye, Fort Lauderdale. See you in, 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 in not tomorrow, but the next day. Yeah, we hadn't mentioned that yet. Uh, it's, we said it's a two night, I think maybe mentioned that. It's a two night trade event sailing. So uh, we're leaving. I think we're stopping in Nassau tomorrow, though I don't think anyone's actually disembarking. No, and yeah. Then, and then we're back. That's it. It's shortest cruise we've ever been on. This officially will be the shortest cruise we've ever <laughs> been on, but hey. We're gonna live it up while we're here. Uh, and that begins right now. Well, it's already begun, but one thing to do, uh, tradition, night one, night aesthetic. Trademark? Us. <laughs> Hoffman, Hoffman Happy Travels. That, yeah. Trademark Hoffman Happy Travels. <laughs> We just got back into the room and look, they put little celebrity chocolates on our pillow. How cute is that? I got one and oh no, Matt, they didn't put one on yours, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. If I would have had one, I would have wanted to give it to you anyway, so. Oh. It's too bad I won't have that opportunity. <laughs> Here, you can have mine. Oh, I couldn't possibly. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. No, you, that's, really? that's so kind of you to offer, but I, I insist. I, won't. I, I want you to have it. No. I'm I, just gonna, I'm just gonna go into the you know what? You restroom. Know what? Take it, and then you can have the one that's somehow magically. <laughs> That's the one I just gave you. Double oh. trouble. Wow. Beyond to infinity. Two chocolates beyond. <laughs> You're about to be beyond Augustus Gloop with all this chocolate hoarding. <laughs> oh man, if I could have a chocolate river, I totally would, but I would not drown in it. And just like that, our first ever night on board sailing a celebrity cruise comes to an end. Today was a really big day. Like I, um, bigger than we thought it was gonna be. Holy cow! We were in the same room with Leona Lewis, Captain Kate, Simone Biles. It was a very cool day. So of course, if you're interested in sailing on Celebrity Beyond or any other celebrity ship, we can help get you on board. So we hope you'll reach out via the travel agent information. You can find it in the description of this video. It's completely free to you. No charge or fees whatsoever, so we hope we'll hear from you soon. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. We'll see you back tomorrow, day number two in the last day on board. <laughs> Celebrity Beyond. But we're signing off for tonight. See you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels. travels! This is for you, Leona. Keep bleeding, keep, keep <laughs> bleeding, love. Do you remember that song? I, I do. Keep bleeding, keep, keep bleeding, love. I'm gonna start bleeding if you hit me in the face with that thing again. You cut me open.